Everyone, so headed over to help pull some stuff off of the Tahoe. My dad's been working on it the last probably week. Uh, starting to part some style, a file on Facebook Marketplace, just get rid of some of the pieces, parts, kind of recoup some money off of the chassis. Ended up selling like the front bumper, a few uh, interior pieces, the seats are gone, stuff like that. And I uh, took the front clip off. He's gonna move the Hummer body actually right now, get it out of the way so we can pull this thing back forward, spin it around and try to get the body off of this to just surface the frame. Then he can get the frame in the shop and start looking at what it's gonna take to try to put the Hummer body over this frame. So he's going to go ahead and uh, move this around with the bobcat. We'll get that spun around and try to get the body off of it. Careful. Don't ding up that body. There you go. Kinda. Counterweight. Now you're making it heavy on the front nose. Calm down. What do you want? The exact amount of weight in the exact right place. Jesus. Calm down. First time running a bobcat? Holy crap. I go off, this body does too. Remember. I don't want you to dang up this pristine Hummer body. It's rubbing the dirt. That seat's gonna be sweet. I think you should just ride in the seat without any cover on it. It's like, just run the seat raw. Steering wheel's gangster though. Holy crap. There we go. Greg's junkyard. <laughs> You pull, you pay, you pull and pay. Greg's you pull and pay. Well, that's moved over here, so go ahead and get the Suburban spun around and see what it's gonna take to get the body off. Like you can see, we just cut the transmission line, tried to uh, separate all the wiring. He did the best he could there. So we'll see if there's anything else stuck uh, when we go to try to take this thing off. I'm gonna steer it. Or are you just gonna get it up there and spin it? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shitty, my bros. We got the Suburban flipped around here. Gonna try to pick up on the back of it. Slide this bar underneath so the body can just sit right here on like this table. More or less make a makeshift table out here for the body to sit on. Pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day one. Try to speak up, can't say none. Try dig dirt, there ain't none. I make the money that save up. 10 to 80, my save on. Take to the top on the base one. New car, race on. We got it. All right, so we got it up on the frame. Got the frame out, got the body way up. It's time for some water. All right guys, so we're kind of looking at it because we know the frame's gonna neck in. The wheel box right here on the uh, the Hummer over there kind of sits right in this area. And it's about 35 inches right here width wise. And it just so happens to be that that is 35 inches wide right there uh, in that tunnel. So more or less, it's gonna need to come off of here and go straight straight back so it's gonna get a little tight right here for exhaust and stuff but that can be figured out later as well well parts are multiplying we got a chassis a body and another body but it looks like actually after some measurements that the hummer is going to go on here pretty easy with the uh, whole rear suspension it might work out he's kind of thinking 
come in here, square it, go through the center port, and it'll actually tie right into the square up there. So you're just getting rid of all this excess out here. All that stuff will go, end up having a power glide, hopefully reuse the rear suspension. Sounds good now, but doesn't mean it's always gonna work out. So if you guys wanna watch some more on the Hummer, the Bummer, Suburban Hummer, oh, I like that. the Bummer, burnout truck, burnout Hummer, whatever you wanna call it, let me know what you guys think it should be called. Uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.